Hi. Hi. My name is Kota Tia Dato Prai 2 from Yumin Primary School. I am Kota Tia Dato Prai 2 from Yumin Primary School. Also from Yumin Primary School. For this lesson, it will still be Techniques of Definite Integral. Chapter 2. Special Functions. So in the last lesson, we have learned a new function. That is the beta function. Yes, the beta function. What is the difference between the beta function and the gamma function? So for beta function, we have two parameters. But for the gamma function, we only have one parameter. Okay? Yes. So right now, we'll first prove one thing, then we'll solve one thing. So first, we'll prove integral from 0 to half pi. We have the sine to the power of 2n minus 1 theta times cosine to the power of 2n minus 1 theta. Then dx, I mean d theta. And that is equal to half beta mn. Okay? Yes. So, what do you think? What should we have for this first? What do you think? Now, what is this BMN? Do you know what is this? Yes. So, can you tell me? So, it's the two, the integral from 0 to 1 x to the power of m minus 1 bracket 1 minus x to the bracket to the power of n minus 1 dx so right now here we have two methods why do we have two methods well one method is to use sine square theta the other method is to use cosine square theta because sine square theta plus cosine square theta equals 1. So here we also have sine and cosine so we can use those two. So can you choose one method first? I will use two methods. Okay so for example the I will use the sine. Sine square theta right? Okay, so I will use that cosine square theta. And also, you need to know what is your range for theta. And can you write your words bigger? Okay, so you want to use U, but why I use theta? Well, what I want to prove is theta, but it's also okay for you to use U because the variable doesn't matter. What matters is the integrand and the boundaries. If that's still not a box.
and then we can sub these in. Then, because the, all the variables that we use are the same, so that's why we could use definite integral instead of indefinite integral. Because the indefinite integral, even though they could convert because of the const, I mean constant, but they are all different because of the different variables. We don't submit the variables to be a whole number, which make it not the same. Wait, you mean a number, not a whole number? Yes. So after your let, you'll realize there are some things that we can combine. So then you need to combine them. And also, for example, in this case, you'll realize it's from half pi to zero. So you can use this negative, change the boundaries. Wait, something's wrong. Okay, now. So at this place, it is actually all right already. Just that so. Oh wait a second. Then you might realize, wait, but here is M, here is N, but here is N, there is M. So now here the problem comes. Now think, N is here, but this is at the back. M is here, it's in front, right? Yes. So can I just change the order to change this order and... So for this, you just straight away put it in, right? So after you straight away combine these together, okay. you can just straight away write already. So, yes, is there anything not right? Oh, nothing. So then, we can change these orders. So this order also change. So then, but last time we have already proved that whether this order or the reverse, they are still the same. So we just need to reverse this. And also, why is there an extra U here? We don't have extra U's. You need to follow this. You don't have extra U here, right? Okay. This is a DU. Okay. Then it's a half B M N. And now you don't need this step. Why? You already have M and N, which is in this order. Okay? Okay. So that is the N for yours, and here's the N for mine. So we've used two methods to prove this, right? Yep. So let's try the second question, okay? Yes. So in this second question, you have integrate from 0 to pi over 2. And the integrand is 
sine to the power of 7 theta times cosine to the power of 9 theta d theta. So for this, you just need to use this. Okay? Okay. So do you want to try? Um, can you solve it? Now, for this, zero to, let me just write this question down first. So for this, let's try to see what is M, what is N, okay? So you first, 7 plus 1, 8, then you divide it by 2. So... Right now, do you know what it is? Can you try this? Okay, so let me tell you about this. Okay, okay, just write it over here. Okay, so 7 plus 1, 8 divided by 2 is a 4. So right now, you only need to write half this, B whatever. Wait, you only need half this because you need to first change this into this kind of form. Like that, then you can use the beta function to solve this, okay? Okay. So now you need to change it into half times the beta. Okay, so let me tell you for this. This part you don't need right now, okay? Okay. So you have a half. Yes. So then, what is inside this B, B? So M, let's try to find. 7 plus 1, 8 divided by 2, 4, right? Yes. So the next? Yes, correct. It's a 5. So then, after that, okay, you can write it below. Then, and your half, your half, this goes all the way to 1. So inside that will be x to the power of, but then, you will do 1, 4 minus 1 or 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1, right? 4. Yes. Why would you want that? Because if not, and this part will become to the power of 4, and then there will be 5 terms. Which, you don't want it to be so complicated. Right? Okay. And last time we proved that these two can reverse. Okay, so now you can expand this. Expand that. So at the same time, are you trying to times this in? Yeah. So that at the second, that is a 3x. So when you times that in? Yes. Yes. Good. And your equals. Now, what kind of trick is this? Are you trying to integrate it straight away? Yeah. Okay. 3 over 6. Okay, well, I think you I first want to write half.
bracket. So then after this, you realize these calculations are very difficult, right? Yeah. So you need to use calculator for these calculations. Yes, correct. One over five hundred and sixty. Okay, so now you found for this. Very good. And if you want to know, you can use calculator to check this with integral. You can either just straight away put this in to get that, or you can times five hundred sixty here. Then you need to get one. Okay. Yes. So, are you clear so far? Yep. Okay, so anything else that you want to say or anything that you want to ask? Nope. Okay, so if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Yes. Hope you like our videos. Thank you for your watching.